Now to an h and Investigates report on Hawaii's fentanyl epidemic. Synthetic opioids killed at least 60 people last year, a statewide record according to the health department. So we want to break down the numbers for you. About 75% of the deadly overdoses were from men, with most being between 20 and 65 years old. By island, about half were on Oahu, a third combined on Maui and Kauai, and about 15% on Hawaii Island. A lethal dose could be as small as just a few specks of powder, smaller than the tip of a pencil. Experts say that many users are taking it unknowingly as it gets mixed in with other drugs like meth, cocaine, and heroin. You never know what you're taking, and that's the scary part because fentanyl is lethal. There are more fatal overdoses for neighbor islands than you'd expect just on, on the amount of population that they have. Overall, there were at least 220 deadly drug overdoses last year in Hawaii. That's according to preliminary data. Most of those involve meth. Officials are continuing to finalize last year's toxicology reports. The fatal overdose total is expected to rise to more than 300, which would be the most OD since the Department of Health began tracking those numbers. That was back in 1999. New murals in East Honolulu are covering up graffiti. Artists with the group Monolua.net have already painted four walls this month in Wailaiki. This is X2 Kalani Anaole Highway. The group says their murals, called Na Anai Holo, also have cultural significance. It's the first one at Ainakoa. People are actually pulling off to the side of the road to tell us how much they enjoy it. And they're like, the freeway is right there. We're like, well, you need to move on. We don't want to cause an accident. I came up with an idea. You find walls. I'll, I'll make the art and we make a team and we come and do it. If East Honolulu residents want their wall painted, all you got to do is visit their website, monolua.net. People who limit eating to certain hours of the day may be at risk of developing fertility issues. According to researchers in England, they found that fasting affected the quality of eggs and sperm in zebrafish. Doctors say that more research is needed to determine if these findings have similar impacts on humans. And your seven-day forecast shows the beautiful conditions. In fact, the breezy winds are going to be in control at least until Saturday is what we're thinking. Granted, it's going to be windy as today with the winds slowly downshifting a little bit Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So the weather is going to be very stable with a fair bit of sunshine, good air quality, comfortable humidity levels. However, a disturbance approaching on Sunday will shift those winds. Southeasterly corner winds coming in. That means the air quality could go down. Humidity levels could go up. We might see some some spotty showers and that disturbance causing the wind shift could bring even more rainfall sometime on Tuesday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.